In this updated video, we're going to go through how do you set up your KW app. So I'm coming here into command, which is agent.kw.com, and we're going to come down to consumer. Here you're going to go to site and app settings in the upper right hand corner, and then learn more with Kelly Guides. When you click this, you get a choice, agent site or the consumer settings. Now, I recommend you do the agent site first. Once that is set up, then do your consumer settings. So for the app, we're gonna do consumer settings and hit continue. There have been a few changes since the last time we did this video. And when this starts, you're gonna click get started. You're going to go ahead and scroll to the bottom and click next. There's some education stuff there. And first thing you're going to do is your consumer settings is the app download page. So this creates a landing page. You give it a header. Here is the code for your app and you can get that later. Click on next and there you go. Now this is the new part. You now have the ability to add up to 12 listings featured on your app and on your website. So this will add a featured section here on your website and the actual app. So you have the ability to add listings. You can select the listings. I find I've already added some here. Do this part um, later. Just do the show featured listings and then under settings you can add them and I will do a separate video on that. So you click save and continue. The last part is the guide builder. So this is a guide builder to set up the buying and selling guide directly in the app itself. So you would choose, let's say buyer's guide first. Here's what it's going to look like. You click next. Now, if you've updated this before, like I have, this will have whatever your script is that you've written. Like I wrote in here because of COVID, there may be some local restrictions so that people know what to expect when buying and selling here. And this is something you can change. Make sure it's worded the way that you want it. You click next. Here are all the different steps. Again, I customize this to make sure that it talks about virtual options, um, doing things virtually in the event we can't meet in person. Click next. That would be the buyer's guide. Then I'm going to come to add guide here, do seller's guide. Same concept. Click next. Update your scripts here the way that you want it to. Click next. You can add things around virtual. Um, I would just do the guide as it is, and there's a separate step you can do to modify these steps later. That way, this process should be pretty quick. Click the next button, and now I have my two guides. In the future, you'll be able to add a third and a fourth guide or have multiple choices. Click next. It is saving. Last thing is, it's going to have you just enable the smart plan. And there's a smart plan already that you can have that's going to do an email and then send a text message on day two and another one on day five. This is just to make sure people have your app. Click on the next button and you're done. That is the setup of the app. Now you can now go to designs and market about your app. You can go to designs and make a video or go to campaigns if you want to run a marketing strategy. You can even go to Connect Live to learn more. Once you're finished, just click the X and you have now set up your KDB app. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave us a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KDB Connect and YouTube today.